Hi guys, welcome to the Dynamic Lights mod review. I've been using for quite a while on uh, my single player and multiplayer uses. It's a pretty good mod to use. It's uh, kind of like if you ever played Terraria or if you've seen a, like my one or two videos of Terraria, you know, you'll, you'll see. But here is the several items you can use for this mod. Basically, it's a, it's just clan side mod only. It won't change anything, so you can go on any multiplayer server and it'll work just as fine. Here is the several items that will you'll be able to use. Now here is redstone. Uh, let's see. I know you've seen it in my le let's plays before, but I never really did a official thing of it. So here it is now. See, when you hold a thing or item in your hand, such as redstone, it'll brighten up the area. So you just hold it up and walk about. All right. Next one is also this is basically I this is the lowest brightness you can get on an item, so it can't get any darker than this when you're holding an item. Next one is redstone torch. It's the same as redstone, of course, it's just redstone, just like smeared on a stick or something. I don't know. And you just throw it on the ground. You can also see it brighten up. Hit the L button, turns right off, turns right on. All right. Of that. The next we have is a glowstone. Now this one's pretty bright, and glowstone has a little thing where you can actually use it in the water. But I'll get into that real quick. All right. First, the next one we have torches. This is the brightest you can get as with an item. Up, oh, it's all the way on the tree. Derp. All right. So the torches are pretty bright. Can't get any brighter as far as I'm aware. Uh. It's probably the best thing to hold, plus it's not very hard to make a torch. So, yeah, so beautiful. Alright, next is the lava bucket, and it's all the way over here. God dang it. Look at all the item frames. Alright, lava bucket. It's the same thing as a torch. The brightness is the same. So, but these are kind of hard to get. Why would you want a lava bucket? Anyways, now here is the golden helmet, and this is probably one of the best items you can have. Alright, it's it works the same thing as everything else and it's got like I think it's surprised the torch. Let me check. No, I think it's slightly darker. Yeah it is. Just by like one notch. So if you right click it and you can actually wear it. So that's really cool. Also it's it's a win win, but because like, you know, gold breaks easy and you know it's bright and so but you cannot wear armor such as chest plate, pants, or, or leggings, or boots, or shoes. It will not work. No comprendo. So, no comprendo, no comprendo. So that means it will not work. So, next, I'll get into the water aspect for real quick. All right, see, if you hold something like redstone, you can see fine, but once you're underwater, not so fine. Like, it'll brighten up everything above you. Like, it's a redstone torch. Brightens up a little bit. Glowstone is probably the best thing to use if you're going to be underwater. Torch doesn't work at all. See, redstone is, like, a mineral. So, it works. Same thing, torch. And glowstone is, a like, a block. So, that works, too. But if you think of redstone, redstone is actually a fire. And if you want to re use real-life logic, you can't have fire underwater. Crazy? And then lava bucket. Doesn't work at all. I don't know, it just doesn't. But if you work, if you like, you can sit in here, nothing. Torch, nothing. Glowstone, redstone, redstone. As for the helmet, <clears throat> did not mean to wear it. Let's put you over there. Okay. And then helmet works too. This probably works the best underwater. They were put it on your head. See where you're going. Good for underwater. Alright, now to the last little bit, and then this will be it for the mod review. So, it's a short little mod, but it's it's really fun to have in Minecraft, personally. Alright, here's flint and steel. There's nothing special with flint and steel, but this is just a little thing. If you're on fire... Wait. Hold on. If you're on fire, you'll actually brighten up the area. Which is kind of glitching out a little bit, but it's still kind of funny, nonetheless. Alright, let's put the water on. Alright. Now let me switch this over into easy mode real quick. Be right back. Alright guys, now I switched over to easy mode. 
The last thing I want to show you is the creepers. And then we, sh we shall be done with this. Alright, when you see a creeper, he's going to get after you. But once, you, once he, uh, before he explodes, he'll actually brighten up. So uh, I thought that was pretty nice. But there is a bug once he, uh, brightens up. And then he's still chasing you. He's still brightened up, like he is, but it's just a little bug. I think it's alright. Alright, so that was the Dynamic Lights mod review, guys. Uh, link's in the description below. Hope you enjoy. And hopefully I do not get eaten by that zombie over there. He sees me. Okay. Anyways, bye guys.